Hey guys, one and Dev is here and I'm back with another tutorial. This time we'll be um, adding sorting layer and sprite render to our game. Like you see here. Go to edit project settings then look for graphics and it'll be set to default. Transparency sword mode would be set to default. You have to uh, set it to custom axis and then this should be one but you have to set set index to zero and then y to one and then exit out of this window and you have to go to your you have to look for your sprites now our files should be located somewhere around the artwork folder and uh, there you should have open your you you first you need to set this should be set to single you have to set it to multiple then hit apply and oops you have to set it to multiple and there we go you can uh, set it to alpha and drag around these corners to make a selection out of the sprites Just like that there we go that looks perfect just like that you can you have to select all of your sprites like this for example you don't it doesn't have to be that big just you need to cover the uh, white area and then hit apply there we go that's our sprites and i'm going to set my pivot point right over right around here and then apply and we're going to go back and now if we now we can drag these sprites over here and if now we have a uh, multiple sorting layers right here and if i set it to objects you can see or even if we set it to default but our orange layer is one then it's going to show up on top of because our tile map has this this sorting layer of zero and anything above that will show on top of our tile map and now if we select our player and mm, i mean hover it over our this new tree then it's not going to show on top or below when we on based on the location because for it to happen we need to set it select our tree sprite and and from the inspector window we have to go to select it to our object so because our player is select has the object store soaring layer and orange orange layer value to one it is this orange layer value is set to one and if we now drag our player object over to the over the tree then it's going to it's going to either appear below or on top of the tree sprite according to its pivot point and by the way we can modify the pivot point if you go to um, look at our sprite and edit the pivot point we can drag around the pivot point and set it wherever we like and then hit apply and the next thing we could do is we could select our tree and add a, a capsule glider 2d make sure we are adding the capsule glider 2d object to our property if we if you don't select the 2d then then it's not going to work now we can we can select this edit glider option and edit it however we like there we go it looks good to me okay let me modify it a little bit we can a little bit or adjustment there we go it looks good enough 
and now save and now if we uh, play the game and our glider should be working there you go our and one thing you should be looking for when doing is and you should select your player game object and then you have to go to constraints and freeze the rotation z if you don't do it then i'll show you what happens in just a second yeah there you go or your player will be spinning around like crazy that's why you need to freeze the rotation z and if you do that it's not gonna happen again there you go arna now our player isn't spinning around like crazy there you go that's all there is to it 